What is up everybody and welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Bandai Namco SH Figure Arts and this is Naruto Uzumaki, the number one most unpredictable ninja. Man, I gotta say I'm very excited about this one. Uh, I don't get excited about a lot of figures anymore. This one is definitely on the top of my list. We'll start by getting a closer look at the packaging. And uh, we have an awesome image of Naruto on the front here. And we have an awesome image of the Naruto figure on the side here. Uh, nothing really on top, just it's H Figure Arts. And we have Naruto Uzumaki, number one most unpredictable ninja on the bottom here. Awesome picture of the figure as well. And then on the back here we have a few pictures of the Naruto figure. We have a picture of him holding his Rasengan here. We have a picture of him running, doing the Uzumaki barrage here. And we have some pretty cool face, different face sculpts on the top here. Not sure if I mentioned this side, but we have uh, the awesome image of Naruto uh, getting angry, showing the non-tail fox here. Uh, as always, look fantastic. You got his fangs showing here. Uh, pretty awesome. But that pretty much wraps up packaging. Everybody we will be right back with this one outside the package to get a closer look. Very excited for this one. All right, everybody, we are back and we have Naruto outside of the package. This one is way cheaper than most SH Figure Arts releases. This one is $47 here in Canada, uh, which is not too bad considering all the accessories you get with this one. All right, for accessories, we have his kunai, which is pretty cool. We can see all the detail going around here of uh, almost like line or string rope wrapped around the handle. And we have his Rasengan is pretty cool we have a little bit of white uh, paint on the top here and for his hands we have two of these jutsu hands jutsu fingers whatever you want to call it i call it jutsu fingers can't get his shot up on without his jutsu fingers and we have two of these open kind of uh gripping hands we have his rasengan hand which uh you kind of just poured it into a little hole right here and we have another open hand we have two fisted hands two fisted gripping hands so you can hold his kunai in uh, both hands and we have uh, another open hand and we have these uh, claw hands which are pretty awesome man you can see the white claws on these uh, pretty awesome detail pretty awesome paint apps uh, on these all these nails are painted nice and clean on both hands very very cool a lot of hands a lot of hands definitely a lot of hands so we have this face scope or face plate whatever you want to call it tons of detail in his face and this one looks fantastic and we have this one as well it's kind of a mad face i think it is all kinds of cool detail in the face of this one his eyes look fantastic and we have this face as well which is his what kind of angry face he's shocked or shocked yeah pretty awesome and we have this face as well which is his uh, nine tail face that's what i call it anyways we can see uh, his eyes and his teeth and all that good stuff, I love it. This is probably one of my favorite face sculpts out of the lot. So in total, we have 11 extra hands, four different face blades, a kunai, and a Rasengan effect. With tons of accessories, especially for the price. So we'll get a closer look at Naruto's face here. Like I said, with all the other uh, face blades, tons of detail, as always look fantastic. Hair looks great as well. Paint application on this one all over is fantastic. Even this little symbol here, little effect there, I'm not sure what this is called. But on the uh, Bandai Anime Heroes, this is all just kind of painted on. But with the SH figure, it's actually a zipper piece kind of sculpt onto the overall figure. Uh, we get down to a zipper. Zipper looks fantastic. Paint application on this one all over looks great, guys. Honestly, man, one of the best figures I ever reviewed. We get down to his sandals. His feet are painted uh, pretty decent. We see a little bit of blue paint when the camera focuses. We see a little bit of blue paint showing through, but nothing too crazy. You can't really notice it, to be completely honest. A lot better than the anime heroes. Obviously, these are probably uh, 10 or $15. Actually, this one is only 10 or $15 uh, more expensive than this one, which is the anime heroes. But yeah, you can see the size difference. You can see the quality difference overall. Not saying that these are not good. Uh, I still do enjoy these figures, but these SH figure arts are definitely uh, a big step up. We had a closer look overall. Uh, let's quickly go over articulation. So for his head, it goes back this far, forward this far. So if you try to spin his head all the way around, I just took his head off just to show you guys. There's actually a little hair piece on the back here, which kind of extends his hair and makes it go down his neck. Uh, like we're used to seeing but that being said it does restrict articulation when you're trying to spin his head all the way around 
Uh, I'm sure there is a way to manage it. Uh, this one is pretty stiff, but you can look to the side and you can move it to the side this far. Like I said, if you wanted to get a full rotation, uh, you can pretty much get it if you really, really want to. But for the most part, it is restricted by the little extra hairpiece on the bottom here. For his arms, his shoulder comes all the way up, man. Great range of motion there. Uh, there is a butterfly joint, which you get fantastic range of motion out of as well. There's a rotation at the base. There is a bicep swivel. There is double jointed elbows, which you get awesome, awesome range of motion out of that as well. His wrists go back, forward, and all the way around. So great articulation there as well. We do have a double ball joint, so we have a ball joint on top here and a ball joint down bottom. So for the top one, it goes back this far, forward this far. Do get some side to side out of that one. You don't get a full rotation, it's kind of restricted. And as for the bottom one, it goes back this far, forward this far, and you do get some side to side and a full rotation all the way around. Now this little piece here doesn't restrict the articulation. It is a little bit weird, but I understand why they did it. But at the same time, uh, it would look kind of weird if it didn't have it, in my opinion. Uh, this little pouch on the back is removable if you guys want to take it off. If you do want to take it off, you do have a little peg there. It kind of looks ugly, so uh, I recommend keeping it on, obviously. Uh, for his legs, we come out to a big Uzumaki split. Goes forward this far, so really impressive high kick. Goes back this far. You have a upper thigh swivel or cut, whatever you want to call it. Not actually a cut, but there is a full rotation there. You do have double jointed knees, which go all the way back. You can kick his own butt which is fantastic, I like it. There is a little swivel below the knee, full rotation down here too, right above the ankle. His ankle goes back this far, forward this far. You can get a full range of motion out of the rocker. And we also have a toe hinge that goes down this far, back this far, and that's it. So that pretty much covers articulation. I forgot to mention too, while covering articulation, that there's kind of a drop down here to get a little bit of that extra articulation, but there's no drop down in the leg or anything like that. So if you wanted to uh, switch out his face plates or whatever you want to call it, uh, this his head kind of just pops right off. This just pulls off, there's two pegs there. Uh, I'm gonna switch up this one because I can't wait to see him uh, with this, these eyes, I love it. Oh, and you should put like the ones with the claws. And it will put the claws on as well. All right, there you go, guys. I think this looks fantastic, man. This is so cool. Loving the claws, loving just how he looks overall. Yeah, this one looks fantastic. I love it. Uh, let's pop on his Rasengan uh, can. <laughs> I believe it. Sorry. Let's pop that on. Let's pop his uh, Rasengan effect in his hand. It should be purple. Should be purple? Well. Actually, let's switch out another face plate. Let's, uh, which one do you want to go with? This one. Oh, yeah. This one's cool. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We have pick. And... What other hand do we want? Wait, I with the Rasengan, God, is going to push to that first one? So here we have his Rasengan effect. We have this nice yelling kind of uh, head sculpt on him too. I love the overall appearance of this one, guys. Can't say it enough. Actually, I love this one so much that I bought a second. <laughs> and I never buy duplicates of figures, but I had to buy a second one of these. So yeah, here we have it, guys. That's his Rasengan effect. Now, I probably will post some pictures on our Facebook group and on our Instagram account if you guys want to see all the other face plates and if you guys want to see all the other uh, hands, effects, and all that stuff. Hopefully, I'll try to get this one in some cool poses. But, there we have it, guys. That pretty much wraps it up. This guy looks fantastic. Love it. All right, everybody, just to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have them next to a Bandai a Dragon Stars, and this is obviously Dragon Ball. We have them next to Goku. All right, also for comparison, we have them next to Sasuke. We have them next to Kakashi. We have them next to a older version of Naruto. And we can see that these are obviously a lot taller. I think these scale well with the anime heroes. I think they do. Do you think so? Yeah, probably. Based off of Naruto's age. Uh, but yeah, man, this is, a, this is a fantastic looking figure. You guys can see the uh, quality difference, uh, the sculpt, articulation, all that stuff. Obviously a lot better with your SH figure arts as opposed to your anime heroes. All right, everybody, that pretty much wraps up our unboxing and figure review. So out of 10, I'm going to give this guy a 9.5 out of 10. A few minor nitpicks, like we see the difference in the orange. Uh, obviously his joints are a little bit lighter and it does kind of stand out in certain lighting. Also, when you're trying to move his head, the face plates and the hair kind of uh, falls off. 
Yeah, it's a little bit finicky. I know I'd say triggers are like that anyways. If you uh, you kind of got to be careful when you cover an articulation. So that's definitely a minus, but not enough to take off many points. So I give him a 9.5 out of 10. What do you give him? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? All right, so a 9.5 for me and a 10 out of 10 for my little buddy Ethan here. So as always, my friends, let me know what you guys rate this one out of 10 based off of our review. Let us know what you think of our review. Let us know what you think of this figure. And who is your favorite Naruto character? Let us know in the comments. As always, if you liked our review, don't forget, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. We hope you enjoyed this review and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys. Bye.